Hello folks, it's me again for the last final video I have for this week. For the opening and closing VHS tapes like the A tape that we have is the one and only Laurel and Hardy in Laurel and Hardy's Stan Helps Ollie. And it's a 1991 release from the Video Treasures Laurel and Hardy c c uh, Classic Collection. And it has like four vintage shorts on this, right on this all right on this tape 1991 release from video treasures and it comes with the uh the opening that tells about what's on what's on these programs one of the four shorts is on this laurel and hardy tape that is county hospital 1932 that's a classic me and my pal in 1933 the one with the jigsaw puzzle then 1930 Hog Wild, and finally my favorite short, Helpmates 1932, the one at the Clean Up the House. And on the opening of every Laurel and Hardy tapes, told by Stan Laurel's daughter, Loris Laurel Haas. Yep, and here's the ink wave label, what it just looks like. Yep, no print date on that. Mm hmm. So, without further ado, here's the opening and closing VHS of. Laurel and Hardy, Stan Helps Ollie. Enjoy! And this program was recorded on the LP format. This is Stan Laurel's daughter Lois welcoming you to Video Treasures classic collection of Laurel and Hardy features and shorts. I'd like to share with you home movies, photos, and fond remembrances of my Uncle Babe Hardy and of my father. My father and Uncle Babe took a tour to England, Scotland on a vacation and they were overwhelmed by the uh, adoration and the crowds that came to see them everywhere. I believe this is on the stage of the London Palladium during a sketch. But everywhere they went, they just they just couldn't get over the amount of crowds. And um, sometimes it would get kind of scary. They didn't have the security. They weren't prepared for it. My father used to feel that they made B-movies, but after this tour, I think he really knew that uh, he, he was making the A pictures like Chaplin was. Here they were in a seaside town, Tyneside, judging some type of contest for children. Again, the crowds. Here the mayor introduces them, and then they get up to do a little antics. They really liked to rehearse everything they did, so they were a little shy about doing something ad-libbing, so to speak. But they made the best of it.
people were so thrilled to see them in person. On this trip, my father made a visit to the family home on Colebrook Avenue in Ely. There's my Auntie Ben, his it was my father's stepmother, and his father, Jeff, who was an agent in England. He really never retired. He represented my dad and uh, Uncle Babe in the British Isles. And then he came to, did come to America for one year between 1935 and 1936. Here's the Oceana apartment building in Santa Monica where he spent his final years. He was very happy there. He loved to sit at his desk and answer fan mail, talk on the telephone, visit with people who would find his number in the telephone book and they would call him up. And if it was a good day, he would invite them up for a cup of tea and a nice visit. My father was a very modest man. He didn't feel he had to be on every minute. And how he did love to talk about the old days in show business in vaudeville. All the comics came around to visit him too, especially the up and coming new ones, Dick Van Dyke, Jerry Lewis, and of course then his friends from the old days would drop around very often to see him. And here's his Oscar that he was so very proud of. He used to call it Mr. Clean. It was presented to him for his contribution to the industry. He only wished that he had gotten it, or they had gotten it while Babe was still alive. He was very happy in this apartment. It was uh, very, very comfortable. And um, when he looked out of the window and see the Santa Monica Ocean, it reminded him of his home in England, where he grew up by the ocean. Hardy Appreciation Society, Sons of the Desert, was founded in 1965 to honor the work and lives of Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. The organization has over 100 chapters all over the world, and each chapter is called a tent and named after one of the boys' films. For information on Sons of the Desert, please write to this address. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.